Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Okay, today I have a huge Dollar Tree haul full of everything is brand new and so many wonderful new finds. Um, it has taken my store quite a while to get truckloads back in for deliveries and they're starting to get out their summer decor too. So, um, so I am so excited to share everything in this haul with you. And as always, I'm going to start with my most favorite thing. And it is these notepads. Oh my goodness. Look at these amazing notepads. I'm going to take it out of the wrapper so you can see it. Um, this is not a Dollar Tree or a Greenbrier brand. It um, lists pad and it's a uh, Crown Jewels, which is a Dollar Tree. <laughs> now that I say that, is Crown Jewels Dollar Tree now? I always think it's like Greenbrier. But look at the bee. Look how pretty that is with that honeycomb and the honey dripping. The little bees. And I love that it's got like the little check off. You know, like you can, all your chores and stuff you need to do for the day, all the errands you've got to run, you can just check it off. But I love that. And it's not magnetic. It does not have the magnet strip on the back but you can very easily add your own because I love having these on the refrigerator. So I got this one with the B, adorable. Um, and then I also got the lemon, which I will open up for you. It does not say like how many pieces of paper you get, but look at that one. And it says squeeze the day. Look at the coloring. Look at that paint detail of the, the lemons. Love it. So these are like my favorite finds, but there's still so much more wonderful things. Then I also grabbed these little, I don't say a box, but it's like little crates or something. And I picked out three different sizes. So um, they were each a dollar, like this was not a set. They were each a dollar, but I chose the larger one right here. And then I got like the medium. And then I chose the small, but look at that. Look how cute these are. Um, <laughs> I don't know how big it is and it doesn't say, but okay. I know a lot of you love when I give suggestions, give ideas. So I'm going to give you one. Okay. So one of my favorite ideas so far that I have with this is okay, to do it like this and then kind of like off set them. So I do it like that. And then I was thinking to do the little one like this. Now, if you want, you can always choose to glue them or anything, but my thought is to do it like this and then fill it full of like succulents, like Dollar Tree succulents. I don't personally recommend putting like real plants inside this with dirt because this is cheap MDF, you know, it would fall apart. But yeah, so my thought is to do like fake succulents and something in here or just any fake flowers that you like. But I thought that would be really pretty and actually, Presley just picked out a bunch of succulents to make the succulent wreath. So that wreath, that video is coming of the succulent wreath. But I thought of doing some succulents in here too. So I think when I'm done with this video, I'm going to do another video of putting like different succulents and stuff in here and kind of see what it looks like. <laughs> so that will be a very casual video that may either be up tomorrow or Sunday. So that's my plan. I just thought these were great and you can put whatever you want in here. These would be so cute. You'll put it like on a console table by your front door, drop your keys and stuff in here. You know, just, um, you can put like your remote controls and stuff in here, but I love these. So I got those. And then I love this. Have you seen these new picture frames that Dollar Tree put out? It's in the shape of a house. I love it. It holds a four by six photo, but you don't have to use this as a picture frame. You can very easily pop this out of here, put um, some scrapbook paper in here, paint it up. Um, I did grab a few of these because I plan on making something with them, but these are amazing. And how wonderful would this be to give like as a Mother's Day gift or like to your grandmother for Mother's Day or your best friend who is an amazing mom, you know? Just put you know, a picture in here of their kids or them as a family, and I think that is a wonderful gift. But yeah, so that is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. Look at that. 
Love that. And you can paint this any color that you want. You do not have to keep it this light tone. But this, like, this wood tone has become very popular with, like, the whole boho look that's going on now. So, love it. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to kind of, like, stick with this stuff for right now. Um, I then found these little bitty picture frames. They've got the little kickstand on the back. I am going to open this up because of the glare. Okay, so I'm going to take this off so you can see it better. So it's got like the little burlap bow, the little clip right here. So you can put whatever you want in there. But look, it's like, so it looks like it's like three slats of wood. So that is great. That is so cute. So I got it in the black. They also had it in white. And then they once again have it in that light wood color. Yeah. See, look at that. That's the light wood color. I love it. Once again, and you do not have to use this as a picture frame. You can, you know, do whatever you want with these and you can um, DIY with these. Yeah, and then here is the white one. And, well then like last year, I made a big tall like picture frame using three different ones of these. So if I can find that picture, I'll insert it. I know I've got a video of it because we did it together for Valentine's Day. But yeah, these are really cute. And these are like great on your desk. More picture frames. I found this one that says home and it's got the little kickstand. Look at that. Two different pictures you can put in here. So they had home, mom, hmm, love that. That is so wonderful. And then they also had family. So these are great and you can use these year round. Love these. And like for me, like my mom, you know, she passed away. My mother-in-law doesn't really like this kind of stuff. Like it's not her taste, but I love this, you know, so I can buy this for myself. But so sweet. Yeah, I tell you what, I love Dollar Tree, especially for holidays, because you can give someone an, an amazing, wonderful gift and it's not gonna cost you a lot of money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then they also had this big circle frame. It comes in white and I've seen other people in black. My store only had the white one, but it's just this, it's just this, you know, this kind of wire, the slat that's got the three little clips. You can add more on here. Um, you can paint this any color that you want. You know, you don't have to keep this white color and you don't have to use it as picture frames. You can very easily like in your, like in your closet, your bedroom, like hang your earrings on it. Like I could take my hoops and just click it on here and like store earrings. Um, you could dangle necklaces from it, you know? Like you have like bracelets that maybe like claps, you know? You know what, let's open this up real quick. <laughs> so, take that off. Yeah, look, these slide, so you can do whatever you want. But I can also, let me take my earring off. I can put my earring up here clip it and I could store, I could store all kinds of my earrings on here because most of my earrings are, you know, like a hoop or something that dangles and it would just slide right over top of it. So yeah, so <laughs> I just thought of that. So that is like probably what I will do because I really like this, you know, and it will hold a lot of my earrings and I've got necklaces, you know, I can like clip maybe down here, you know, like on the bottom ones, like, you know, dangle my necklace. <laughs> like down here, I can hang my necklaces from it. So there's like so many things you could do to this. You could turn this into something boho. You, you could do, you know, yarn or rope or something and loop it and have like a dangling to have like that, that kind of cascading effect. But yeah, so if you see this in the store, don't just think, you know, um, pitcher holder. But you know what, this would be really cute because like I know, you know, I know like a lot of the young kids and teenagers, the, the little Polaroid cameras are very popular. And it's like little bitty pictures. You know, they could put a bunch of little pictures clipped on here. Because I know Dollar Tree, they sell these, like a package of these little clips. Then I also found this little, um, this little gift boxes. So this, you actually get two. This was a two pack. They had a bigger one where you only got one, but this one you get two. You got a small and a medium. And I'll open this up and it's got the bees. Like bees are very popular this year. So I love them. Um, I've got some projects coming up using bees. But look at that. Look how 
pretty that is right there. You can very easily decorate with this. You don't have to use this as a gift box because look how pretty that is right there. I mean, and this right here is like two tray size. So this is the small. And then here is the medium size, but look at that. All the way around, how pretty. So I love these gift boxes. I think they are just so pretty. Okay, speaking of kind of bees, they had these little ceramic holders. Um, just called a uh, trinket box is what they're calling it. But look at that. So they had it in the white. Open this up. So they've got it in the white with the gold lid that just does come off. So this would be really pretty. <laughs> so y'all know I talk about tear trays all the time. Tear tray, put that on there and have you some little greenery coming out of here. Um, you could do, you know, if you're into like the lemon decor, you put a little greenery with some lemons and then have this sitting in your tear tray. So that is very pretty, love that. But then, okay, they also have it in the black. Okay, black once again, gold lid. But I felt like the black, you didn't really notice it as much. So I took this gold paint marker. This is Crafter Square, um, just gold metallic. So I took this and I highlighted and traced over it. Do you see that? So all I did was I took this gold metallic marker and I just went and kind of traced out everything and it give you that look right there. Now it's not perfect and I did not want it to be perfect. I just kind of did little dashes all around it. But to me, that now really kind of stands out. So that is very pretty. So that's just another little suggestion that you could do. Okay, and then y'all, Dollar Tree put out some of the best little signs that I've ever seen. I love these so much and they honestly, <laughs> as much as I love Dollar Tree, they don't look like they're Dollar Tree. So, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but look at these little signs that they put out. I love this. And I tell you what, this right here is Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Joanne quality. Look at that. <laughs> and I love how it says, don't stop beleafing, you know, uh, sprout some love. I love that. Look how pretty this is and how great, you know, you can put this into a plant. Now, let me tell you what, when I put this kind of stuff outside, it ruins it. So you barely get a year out of it because of the elements. So I would not put this like out in rain or anything. If you've got like a covered porch, sure. But to me, you can pop this off here and add this onto a cute little reef. Reef. <laughs> You can add this onto a cute little wreath. <laughs> wreath. Um, if you have a bigger tear tray or something, add that to it and do like a whole farmhouse kind of um, tray. And then they had this one. Look at the colors of this. This is beautiful to me. Locally grown fresh produce. This is like farmer's market. Love it. I love that right there. And I want Right now, I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but I want to think of something, <laughs> I don't want to say clever, but I just I want to think of something like an amazing way to use and decorate with these. So I got to think about these, but love these. And then look at this one. Look at this little dangling sign right here. So you could very easily just hang this up. There you go. But to me, I am going to pop, look at that. <gasps> I love this. I truly love this right here. I love everything about it. The farmer's market. Look at that. I am gonna pop mine off because all it is is stapled onto there. I'm gonna pop this off and I am gonna do a tear tray using this and like um, plants and succulents and just kind of do that whole, I don't wanna say boho, but just that whole like greenery and farm and <laughs> does that make sense you'll see but love that and then you could also you could always add some of these to your tray too you know you could make you a very pretty picture using something using some of these 
So got that. This one is my favorite right there. But then they also had, look at that. Look how great that would be. This, because like Presley, which is my 16 year old daughter, has become like the crazy plant lady. Loves plants and snake plants and succulents and all that. This would be really cute um, to put like one of those little, you get like one of these little clips and put it like right there. And she could put like one of those little Polaroid pictures of like her and her like best friends. You know, so this would be like a really cute picture frame or something for her. But, and then you have, we were meant to be. Can you tell this? <laughs> so really this must be a mint. I don't know my plans. But this says we were meant to be. And once again, you don't have to keep it like this. It has a cute little tag that you could turn it over or paint over this and say whatever you want. Or how cute would this be to put that little clip right here in a picture of you and your sweetie, you know? <laughs> and it says you were meant to be, you know, to be like you and your sweetie on here. Okay, and then wait till you see this one. <gasps> Look at that little galvanized watering can. And it says, staying alive. I mean, these are just so funny. Look at that right there. Or you got the little shovel. You've got that very pretty purple flower. And then you've got that. Okay, so how cute will it be to pop these off here, attach these like this. Um, you can have something like this and just do a whole little decor using this kind of stuff. So, I mean, I just, I have so many ideas of using these kind of things, but I love these. These are like so far, like the best signs I've ever seen from Dollar Tree. And then they have this one right here, Fresh Flowers Market. Look at that green. That is a very pretty, like sagey green with that white. Love it. I love the font they, that they used. It's got the little hanger. Once again, you just pop this off. You could prop this up or, or you can make you like a little flower stand or something. You know, use the, the crates from Dollar Tree. So cute. Love that one. And then they also had weed it and reap. <laughs> I mean, just the little pun, you know, the little puns that they're using is so cute. So funny. So I love them. Thank you, Dollar Tree. Okay, so that's it for all the signs. They, then we found these little trinket trays, the watermelon. Y'all, I love to decorate with fruits from the, for, um, for the summer. I mean, lemons and strawberries. This year I'm working in bees, but watermelon too. I've got a few different watermelon things and projects coming up. But look how cute this is. So, okay, so we grabbed the watermelon. Presley picked out the orange. She wanted this little orange tray for her bedroom. So she got that one. And then I got the lemon. <laughs> I love it. This once again would be so cute. You know, if you want to put in your kitchen, um, like if you do your dishes sometimes, and you like you take your rings off. Sometimes throughout the day, I'll, like, I'll take off my earrings. I can sit it on here in the kitchen because it was, you know, this matches like my kitchen decor for the summer. But it's so cute. And like I said, pop this onto a tear tray. But really cute and I love these and once again this kind of stuff makes a wonderful Mother's Day gift so so cute I grabbed me a new pair of gloves I love Dollar Tree gloves for working in the yard um, I buy a new pair every year now like I do like some serious digging in the dirt um, there's an elderly lady that she's almost in her 90s that we help every year. We pull weeds for, we, um, we plant flowers for, and like we really get in there. And these last, you know, it, and these really do last the whole season for me. So, I love it. I just picked up this pretty pink with all the flowers. So, I do, I recommend these. That, and then, this was new. Okay, I love, I've got my little, um, I've got my little shovels and, you know, I have quite a few little hand tools from Dollar Tree, and this is new. Look at this little rake. This is perfect for getting like in between bushes and stuff, you know, because you don't want like a big rake trying to get in between like bushes and flowers. So you take this and just rake out like, you know, the dead leaves or like old mulch. <laughs> That's not a kind of country. Old 
mulch. So, but I love it. They had this gray, they had purple, they had green, they had blue. I just went with the, just a classic gray, but I love it. So this is brand new. This, they've never had this before. Love that. Okay. And this is a really good size. Okay. I grabbed, look at these cute eyeglass pouches. Um, I bought these for my sunglasses. So I bought this one with the lemons. And then I also had to get my Golden Girls. <laughs> I got the palm leaves. Love it. And this always, I'm telling you, my kids, you know, Riley's 13, Presley's 16. They see this kind of stuff and they're like, Mom, there's your Golden Girls. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not just me. Like, we are like the Golden Girls. So, um, that's how you what. Like, they don't watch it because I grew up watching Golden Girls. But now I'm like, man, Blanche was like, you know, sexy and stuff, which I didn't realize back then. But so cute. These, um, I have two pairs of sunglasses. So I just got one for each. You can vary. So with these, I feel like I can throw them down into my purse. Um, I have glasses that I wear sometimes when I'm driving. Well, I'm supposed to always wear them, but I don't like them. I can put my glasses in here, sunglasses. But these were my favorite. Those. I grabbed um, strawberry. <gasps> Y'all, I highly recommend this because in my car, it smells like strawberry, but it's not overwhelming. It's not like a constant, oh my gosh, gag, strawberries. It's very, it's subtle, but it's there. It's that strawberry. So I love it. So I've got two of these. Actually, I have three because I have one in my car right now. Um, so I just went ahead and stocked up. So I got the strawberry and then be careful because they also have cherry and the cherry is red. So don't just grab red. Kind of make sure you look for the picture. So love these. And like I said, if you love strawberry and you don't want like overpowered, overbearing smell, these are great. So. Yeah. Then, and I grabbed this for myself. They have bath salts. Um, Hibiscus Rose. This is the, um, okay, so this is Bolero. I am not a huge fan of Bolero products, but I thought I would try these bath crystals. So like I said, um, Hibiscus Rose, look how pretty this packaging is. This would make, once again, a beautiful Mother's Day gift. So that, and then I also grabbed it in the chamomile and cucumber. Look at that packaging. Look at those daisies. This is so pretty. Now, because this is for me, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to tell you what this smells like. All right, so this is the chamomile cucumber. I mean, it smells good. It has like a nice clean smell to it. So I will definitely try this later tonight. So I got that one. And then the hibiscus rose. I tell you what. Bolero, their packaging always gets me, but <laughs> let me smell this. That is definitely floral. It smells good, but it's definitely a floral <laughs> scent. So the hibiscus rose, I mean, I'm telling you, it's floral, but it smells good. So yeah, but I was a sucker for the packaging. <laughs> so I grabbed these, the bath salts, or well, they're calling them bath crystals, so that. I found another one of the Bathory, the Lufas. Like I tell you, it's got the rainbow. So when you're in the Dollar Tree and you're in the beauty section, look for the rainbow one. These are amazing. I've got a purple one and a pink one. <laughs> I have a purple one upstairs and the pink one downstairs. So I love them. I mean, I've been using it for a few weeks now, ever since I found the purple one, and I love it. I mean, the quality of it is amazing. So now that I found this green one, so I'm gonna keep looking because these are great. And especially for a dollar, you know, so if you see these, grab me a couple because they are so good. Yeah, but these, like I said, look for that. Look for that rainbow, little rainbow strap right there. Okay. okay. Then my store had in new, like greenery and flowers. I was so impressed by these ferns. Look at this fern right here, and it's tall. Like, this is really long. I mean, it goes up to here. 
Look how tall that is. Look at that, this is one stem. You get all of that right there for a dollar. And look at the quality. I mean, like I said, I am very impressed by this um, fern. So I did, I grabbed me a few of these because these are great. And at the store I was at, like, they had a huge display of them. It was so pretty, but these are wonderful. I love ferns. And I tell you what, fern is the only plant or flower or anything that I can keep alive. <laughs> My ferns on the front porch will get huge, but everything else dies on me. But yeah, so I highly, highly recommend these ferns when you go to Dollar Tree. Look for these. And then they also had, and they're calling this a fern. Look at that. Look at that dark green. And these, I tell you, these right here are so pretty. Like if you make like a flower arrangement or something to have this kind of stuff cascading down or like um, making wreaths. If you're gonna make a wreath or something, this kind of stuff kind of popping out like the top and the sides or dangling down, very pretty. So I grabbed two of these. I mean, look how pretty that is right there. Love it. That. And um, they had new flowers, at least new to me. Look at these little bitty flowers. Look how pretty that is. They're just calling it wildflowers. So that is so pretty. So it's white with like the pink right there. They also had pink. Once again, just so pretty. Pink. They had beautiful purple, my favorite color. Look at that purple. That is really pretty. And on the purple, Actually, all of them. I just now noticed it. But look, they've got different little, little green ring mixed in with it. You see that right there? Ah, so pretty. I just realized that. So that they had, look at that yellow. Love yellow for the summer. Just that pop of yellow and sunshine. So pretty. Yeah. See, I cannot believe I didn't notice that until, until now. That is great. So love that. And they had it in solid white, no pink to it. So, but these are very pretty and these will make wonderful like little summer bouquets. And then I just grabbed one stem of this right here. And look how long this is. You know, this is like, so this is like on a really long stem too. And I love how they have like the little, little like separators right there. So it makes it easy to where you like bend this and you could break it. But I just thought this would be really pretty, just like kind of pop into like tiered trays or pop into like a couple of DIYs that we're gonna do. So just got that right there. And it's called um, verbanum. <laughs> Don't know, is that right there? Verbanum, is that how you say it? So got that. And then the last of the flowers, I grabbed these daisies. I love white daisies, summertime strawberry decor. I love mixing little white daisies with them. When I make my wreaths, like for wreaths during the summer, I love adding sunflowers and daisies, just little accents to my wreaths. So, so pretty. I grabbed two of these. Look how pretty that would be. Just pop that into a cute little vase and you are ready. You're done for the summer. Love it. Okay. I always look in the school section when I go. I always look in the teacher section. Um, you can find some amazing things there. And I did. I found this bee stuff. Look at this right here. This is in the teacher section. Um, of course it's teacher. So it says like buzzing job. But look at those bees. Look at the honeycombs. And then all the little stickers. So this is great. And I don't know if you're getting a glare. So I will open this. Oh man. You get four. <laughs> There's four sheets of stickers. But yeah, but look at that. So I'll have this where you can see it. So you've got um, the black and the goat honeycombs. You've got like the little, this right here is like little dots, like the bee, like kind of like it's traveling. Get that, you've got the green is also bees. The yellow is honey. Um, the orange says buzz. And then you got some more little beige bees over there. So these are great little finds. So always look in the teacher section Always look in the teacher section at Dollar Tree. And then let's look at this. And then look at that right there. See 
see the little honeycombs. So cute, very easily. Cut these bees out and Mod Podge them onto something and you can create whatever you want. Love that. And actually, we're gonna do that. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I bought this is because I want the bees and stuff. You know, I can make any picture I want, any stain I want using these little bees. So, all right, that. Then I also found this watermelon eraser, okay? This is a big, like heavy duty eraser and it's a watermelon. That's why I bought it, it's because it's a watermelon. Like, it comes apart if you wanted, you know, all three of those come apart. But my thought for this is, look how cute that is. It's a slice of watermelon. This is perfect for my tear trays because like I said, I'm gonna do you know, my lemons and strawberries, but I'm also gonna do some watermelon stuff. I had several people request a, like a um, watermelon this year. They wanna see like watermelon DIYs, watermelon tear trays. So I listened to you. <laughs> so I got that. And you could very, very easily and carefully, you could cut this in half and it will give you two slices. So that's my thought too. You can either just decorate with the one or if you can, this is the only one I could find. This was like the one and only. Um, if I would have found more, I would have bought them. But you can very easily just cut it straight down in half and it'll give you two slices of watermelon. So love it. And look at those colors. That is like perfect, good job. All right, <laughs> this right here is a epic fail. All right, I bought a can opener from Dollar Tree. I've had the same can opener from 2001. So it doesn't like want to crank as easy and stuff now and it's not really gripping. So I was like, you know what? I saw this at Dollar Tree for the first time ever. Like I've never, don't, I've, I personally have never noticed can openers at Dollar Tree. So I was like, I'm gonna try that out. <laughs> Let me tell you, I put this on a can of corn last night for a recipe. It won't open. <laughs> I opened it up, I clamped it down onto my can of corn, and it broke. The very first time I tried to use this, it broke. So this is going, <laughs> this is going in the garbage. Or honestly, I may, because I know you can exchange stuff at Dollar Tree. I've never done it before, but I may either just throw it in the garbage, or I may see if I can maybe exchange it for something else. <laughs> but I. It's stuck. It will not open back up. And the teeth, they all got like hung up in each other. So yeah, I do not recommend this can opener at all. Some name brand finds. They had the Premier Protein. Um, They had the, what's this called? Strawberries and cream. So this one is really good. Like we tasted these. This one is really good. And then they also had the peaches and cream. Let me tell you what, if you like peaches, you'll love this because it's definitely peachy tasted. So to me, like, I like it, but we all loved the strawberry. Now, these are great because it has 30, this one thing right here has 30 grams of protein. It only has one sugar, um, 24 vitamins and minerals, and it's low fat. Now, Riley can have one of these a day because <laughs> my sweet little boy, he has um, growth hormone. <laughs> I can never say that word right. Growth hormone um, delays. Like I don't wanna say deficiencies, but he's 13 years old, but he's the size of like a third or fourth grader. So his eight year old cousins are as big as he is. So bless his heart. <laughs> You know, we see, he sees an endocrinologist and, you know, we increase his protein. So these are great for him. And it has one sugar because he has to have a low sugar diet. So I got these. And let me tell you what, Kroger's, because we go to Kroger, um, they sell a four pack for $8. I can get eight of these at Dollar Tree. They don't expire until August 23rd. 2021. So, I mean, he's got all summer long to drink these. So these are great. And then also Presley, she's going to the gym every day. She's working out and like exercising. So protein is a great muscle builder. 
and my big butt <laughs> as we go in the gym every day too with her and you can't tell. <laughs> but, all right, then I went to the kids department. I always look in the kids department too. And plus at my stores, it's like in the crafter square section. So like crafter square is here and toys are like on the same aisle. But look at this. <laughs> and you may know why I bought this. Look at the strawberries. Look at those strawberries right there. So I bought this because of the strawberries. Now, these, so cute. Pop these out of here. Um, as is, you can decorate with them. Or you could repaint these to kind of give them more of like a realistic kind of look. You could very easily take a black Sharpie or a white paint pen and then like fill in like the little seeds to kind of make everything pop and look more realistic. But yeah, I bought these because of the strawberries. I thought it'd be really cute to do like a project or something using the strawberries. And then Presley was able to find, and I don't know if I'm gonna say this word right. <laughs> Is it called Tsum Tsums? Tsum Tsum something? <laughs> I don't know. These Disney things right here. She found these, some, some, I don't know. But yeah, so this one has Flounder, Queen of Hearts, and Dumbo. <gasps> Look how cute. And it's got a little book right here. And it's got like the little book. So you open this up and it like tells you all the ones that you can collect. But she was so excited because she loves all of these little things. So that right there. And look, you turn around and the queen of hearts, her little bloomers have hearts on them. <laughs> so she got that one. Um, this one has Chip, Bambi, and Sven from Frozen. Look how cute those are right there. Adorable. Um, we also got this one who has Grumpy, Buzz Lightyear, and Winnie the Pooh. And Riley has claimed Buzz Lightyear. That's one that he wants. But look at Pooh. Look how cute they are in their little bottoms. <laughs> that. And then the last one is Bing Bong. I don't know who Bing Bong is. Chip and Minnie Mouse. Look how cute these are. Oh, look at Minnie. These are adorable. And I would open them, but they're the kids. They wouldn't open them. So, but I told him, I said, hold on, let me put them on my video first. Then you can have them. So these are name brand and a lot more expensive than a dollar at the stores. And it says that they are series two. So, so cute. So when you're a Dollar Tree, look for these. Okay, I just have three more things and then you're done with me. <laughs> All right, these two right here, Presley picked out and she bought with her own money. Um, she picked this one out right here. Look how pretty this is. Like I said, she loves all the plants. She loves anything with plants on it. Look at that, look at the coloring. Look how pretty this is right here. Um, she almost didn't buy it because she didn't like the pink of the home. And I said, easy fix. I said, if you love it, we can take a black Sharpie or a black, I've got paint markers, all that kind of stuff. I said, we can just change that to black. Very easily trace over it and colored it in. So she got really excited because I told her that, you know, I told her I would do it for her. But look at that, so cute. And it's got the color wood that she loves. That whole, all that boho look is so popular right now. So she picked this one out. And then she also bought this one right here. It says, I'll never desert you, or desert. <laughs> I'm like, is that dessert? Is it desert? I'll never desert you, I'll never desert you. So, <laughs> she picked this one out right here. And I wanna say cactus, but I know it's cacti, cacti. But I always wanna just say cactus. So cute. All right, so the last thing that I bought, and I love it, is this bag right here. Look how cute this tote bag is. Look at that. Once again, it's covered in bees. So, I mean, Dollar Tree, they keep up. They know what is popular and what is going on. Look at these bees. Love it, it's black. So this is so cute. Um, I'm gonna open this up and show you how big it is, but you gotta be careful because you don't wanna rip these bags. Just make sure that like you cut the little things. Okay, so I got it open. Look how 
big this is. So like, this is a great size for a dollar. Look at that. That is so nice. I tell you what, for Mother's Day, put you some like some flowers in here. You could put the little like the um, the little rake in here with the gloves. Some of these cute new little pictures that they have, the picture frames. But yeah, but you could just make a wonderful gift and give it to anyone special in your life. So I love it. It's so pretty. <laughs> and this is for me. <laughs> Eight. That is it. Um, so I know I got a lot of stuff, and y'all, like I said, my stores finally got in their deliveries. Um, it's been a while since they've had deliveries in. Uh, they were starting to put out like a lot of the summer stuff. So <laughs> I've got some um, summer stuff that I cannot wait to share with you. Um, like I said, they were still kind of like getting boxes and everything. So I'm gonna go back next week and see what I can find. And then we'll do another Dollar Tree video next week. So it is Friday. I hope that you have an amazing weekend. Relax, take care of yourself. Um, but that's it. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.